if if you come out of a big game as we have in London, lots of role models have been created then it's likely that lots of children are going to want to emulate them but unless you've got the facilities for them the, the role models themselves are not enough you need the clubs you need the structures you need the grassroots infrastructure you know the average person between the age of 15 8 and 15 becomes 50 percent less active so sport is clearly and grassroots sport and clubs like you know the, the facilities available here and the young people using them and the coaches that are supported at the local level. This is really an important part of that story. Bangor University is investing uh, the best part of two and a half million pounds over the next few years in our sporting facilities. Um, in part because we believe it's a very important part of the student experience, but also because the sporting facilities in the university are used extensively by the community and by the local schools. The dome is really just the first uh, major step in that, but a major refurbishment of, of Mice Glass is also taking place uh, behind us. It's vital and it shows a university with great foresight because universities play, particularly in small towns, smaller towns, play a very, very big role in the community. I know that from my own university in Loughborough, which is in a small town. That's, you know, it is the epicentre of the community. It employs a lot of people. Um, a lot of the activity in the town is based around the university. So the more universities are seen to be a part of the fabric of a town, and sport is the very heart of that fabric, the more that those two can come together, the better. So it's a, it's a great opportunity.